hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today's video is a diy i had lots of requests coming up for the diy so i thought i'll share with you guys how i made this high chair tutu banner so i used this tool from michael's it was by celebrate it and it was six inch by 100 yards they are available in various color options for 15.99 michael's also carry these pre-cut tools in various color options and you get five, five inch by 32 inches and you get 50 strips and again these are 15 dollars and you can use coupons on them i also used one of this chalk foam board but this is optional you can use any packaging board so this was the high chair that i was going to work on it was just an order from a customer and they wanted that tutu banner so the length of the skirt was 28 inches so it was from the tray to the floor around the tray it was 30 inches while the total circumference on the chair was 60 inches so the very first thing i started doing is securing one end of the tool to the foam board so again i said this foam board is optional you can use any packaging box if you have the only thing you have to keep in mind that it should be equal to the length of the skirt that you are planning to make so you can have like a 15 inch one 20 inch ones 30 inch and even longer than that so for me this worked out perfectly as i already had this on hand as i got it when michaels had the clearance and they were just selling this chalkboard form for 4.97 and you get two in a pack so this worked out perfectly so then i'm just going around and winding this tool this step was a little bit difficult and time consuming as i was not getting an easy way around on how to wrap this tool around the foam board it was it just kept on twisting and it was difficult so then i went with this technique of winding it around so i just had the spool in one hand and then the foam board on the other hand and i just tried flipping the foam board around rather than flipping the tool around i hope that makes sense but you can just do whichever way works out best for you so for this project i used one complete spool of this tool so that was 100 yards depending on how long or how wide you want your tutu banner be you might end up using two spools or just half a pool it totally depends on the measurement so then i used just 75 percent of the spool and i thought that would be enough but at the end i had to use all and then i went ahead and just cut the tool at one of the ends because again as i said i wanted my skirt to be 30 inches long so then the next step is to separate out each strip of the tool so it would be 60 inches in total but you just want to fold it into a half so it's exactly your length of the skirt then i'm using this ribbon i got this from michael's i'm just using this peachy orange color because that was to match the high chair again no rhyme or reason on the ribbon you can use whichever color whichever length thickness you want because the total circumference of the chair was 60 inches so again i used my foam board as a guide and i cut the ribbon approximately 90 inches so that they can have some extra room to tie the knot on the back all the supplies you can also get it from dollar tree they are easily available but i just got from michael's all of my supplies so now this is the technique how you'll be tying your tool on the ribbon so you just make a loop midway through your strip and then you just feed the two strands through the loop that you have made you just need to make sure that you start in the front of the ribbon and you are not going from the back so just make a loop like this midway and then from the front of the ribbon you just take the two strands and take it on the back and then just feed it through the loop i hope this makes sense i tried the ribbon on the wall and secured it with the painter's tape but it was not quite sturdy and you can see the one end of the ribbon just came off because when you're trying to tighten the knot it might pull on the ends of the ribbon and it might come off 
so then i just went down onto the floor and i secured again both the ends with the painter tape and then i also had to put some heavier object on top so that my ribbon does not come off while i am tightening the knots so again just to give you guys an idea i'm making a loop in the middle of the strips and then just feeding the two strands from the other side and making just like the bow tie or the necktie look again you have an option you can use whichever color you want for the skirt and the tulle you can make a rainbow one or you can make alternating colors like the pink and purple it all depends on your requirement or your customer's requirement and as i said in my case the customer wanted the whole white skirt with the peachy pink flowers so again you guys can see how i'm doing it i'll just do a few for you guys so you get an exact idea how we are doing it and this one was very easy once the both the ends were secured on the floor so similarly i just went ahead and i finished completely the whole spool for the skirt so these flowers i'm going to use are from the dollar tree these are very rare to find now this came out earlier in the spring and the beautiful colors so you just want to take your flower out from the stem same way you'll also be taking your greenery the green leaves also out and it's very easy to take these flowers out again you can use whichever color you want for the flowers but uh, my customer wanted this peachy pink color for the flowers the next step was i had to trim down the stem on the back of the flower so i just used the pliers and using the hot glue gun i'm just placing the flowers in between the two strips of the tool if you have a finger protector please do so wear it i was getting the heat burns from the glue gun the glue burns i will say i had the fin finger protector on my side but i just didn't put it and then i got the glue burns from the heat gun so then the next step was to add this greenery this is completely optional if you like the look of the greenery you can add it if you don't want you can just skip the step and you can see how easily the greeneries come off from these florals from the dollar tree again michaels also carries these beautiful flowers but i was able to get these supplies from the dollar tree and then i'm just placing the greenery in between each flower and this is the complete look of the flower and the greenery along with the skirt and this is how it looked on the skirt we're completely happy with the final outcome the pictures don't do the justice but it was really pretty and again as i said you can play around with the colors as you want for the tulle and the flowers at the end i was very happy because my customer was very happy and their photo session went great as the daughter was turning one and this was the final result how they had it on their chair so this can make a perfect tutu skirt or a banner for the birthday parties for the photography or the photo shoot if you are planning for your little one and it just adds to the decor i hope you all enjoyed today's video of a quick diy please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video